Okay, so we are two ordinary students. My name is Mambo. And I'm Tizen. Our topic today is one of Chinese greatest art, warfare techniques, which we call being fought. When people talk about ancient China, they usually mention like a Tom Poen or Song Daijin drawing. But if we look back the Chinese history, we will discover something that truly shows the intelligence of ancient China. That's the techniques we use in the warfare. Tonight, our strategy will mention will come from a famous Chinese book named The Art of the War, Sun Zi Bing Fa. What we plan to do tonight is draw you some techniques the plans, the different dynasties used for diplomacy and how you can use them to conquer the challenge the life throws at you. The first strategy that we will mention will come from chapter 3 of the Art of a War. This strategy will, is a phrase that many government are using right now. As we all know, there is a sentence, know yourself and your enemy and you will be invincible. But in case you don't know, this phrase means that if your army have a understand your enemy's situation and your army's own situation, your army will not fail. Okay, now let us see how Zhuge Liang used this strategy. Zhuge Liang is a legend throughout Chinese military history. In the time of three kingdoms, top general of Shu, Zhuge Liang, was sick. He set a plan before his end to spread the rumors that he is already dead and make a doll with him size with him. When his enemy, Sima Yi, the general of Shu, that, the Wei dynasty, <laughs> wrong, okay. the general of Wei dynasty, he immediately started an attack on Shu kingdom's border using an army with 400,000 soldiers. But he didn't fully believe that Zhuge Liang was really dead because Zhuge Liang was a bright general, and a bright general wouldn't let his enemy know he was really dead or not. And on a foggy afternoon, Shu army turned on the Wei army and Sima Yi was frightened by that. And when Zhuge Liang appeared at the center of the army, Sima Yi was terribly frightened by that. And retreat we army for 50 miles. Many soldiers are crushed or tumbled in the jittery chaos. But when Sima Yi knew that it was just a dog appeared at the center of the Shu army, the Wei army has already pulled out of Shu territory. This is a fitting example of knowing yourself and your enemy. Zhuge Liang knows the Wei army will rush through and then use the fear to defeat them. By understanding what your opponent is thinking to win the battle and to make preparation of their next step action will lead to the victory. Okay, now let's have some techniques that we can use in, in our daily life working in some specific social places. Do you ever have a tough time studying for an exam that is coming out very soon? Okay, so normally, if you're like me, I put all the real materials like textbooks, like worksheets in front of me and try to fight with it all night. However, the result is inefficient for my overall learning and my motivation for learning will go down. I don't have the mental physical ability to study for other tests coming up. So, according to the chapter two of the Art of War, you have a huge army forces, you're not wanting to spend all of your time to try to gain a victory over your adversaries, which should be strategic in your planning. So, uh, like you have in the war, many things could and will happen. Your supplies will reduce, your soldiers' motivation of winning will also decrease, and most importantly, if soldiers are outside fighting and not contributing to their local economy, their eco uh, the economy, economy of the country will plummet. So, uh, if you know the profit of using soldiers, you should also know the disadvantage of using soldiers as well. Okay, now let's uh, see how we can make this relatable to us. You add me to conquer the biology exam. When you study for a biology exam, it feels the same way. If you spend a long, long time reviewing just for a biology exam, your overall passion for studying and learning other subjects will go down. And you will feel tired, frustrated, and even exhausted. And if this is your habit, focus on just one thing at a time and putting all your energy into it, your, your overall productivity might not be that effective. But if you split your time into chunks, 
study for one subject for 30 minutes and rest, and then switch to another subject. Your brain will be fresh and you will learn with more efficiency. When you're trying to relax, like leave your enemy, which is your mind, go to play a card game with your friend, breathe some fresh air, go out and walk, seems like some great ideas. Chinese warfare strategy are not just some skill, some plan to defeat enemy, they are arts that integrate psychology, science, management, and sociology. What we just introduced was just a tip of iceberg to explore the essence of war art. We encourage you all to read the books on war art on your own and try to explore the rest of the iceberg on your own time. Thanks. Thank you.